Next question is from Forlavesi Claudio. When trying to increase my squat, should I focus more on intensity or volume? Well, okay, if, you're, if your goal is to get stronger, first off, intensity, volume, and frequency are all important. So intensity yeah. is how hard you, you train. Volume is the amount of sets and reps you do, so the total amount of volume. And then frequency is how often throughout the week that you actually do an exercise. They're all connected, and they sh all should move based off yeah. of which one you're moving. They, they move are. each other. But if you had to go either or, and you're looking for strength gains, volume and frequency are probably the more important ones. Absolutely. Um, you're going to get more. And you can see this with Olympic lifters, even power lifters who lift some of the heaviest weight in squats, mm -hmm. they squat frequently. They don't go once or twice a week at max intensity. They're squatting a lot of times uh, per week, especially Olympic lifters are doing it often, often, often. Um, and they're getting really, really good at the movement. They're getting their CNS to fire well. Um, and it just gets them really strong. I remember years ago, there was this, uh, on, you know, in the bodybuilding or muscle building forums, there was this thing that was making uh, its rounds. It was causing a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of discussion. It was this squat every day program. I don't know if you guys remember this, but mm -hmm. it became a thing where it was this challenge for the next. I don't remember what it was. Thirty or sixty days, you squat every single day. Yeah. And what they did was it's, they, it's, it's going on right. It just happened. Squat tober. Is, oh, it's that's, still. That's, oh, going, yeah. that's why this is a question. This is I going. See. Oh, I see. Okay. That's popular right now. Yeah. And so the way they they did it was they would tell people to modify the intensity. So you squatted every day, but you didn't squat max out every single day. And people were coming back and saying things like, I added 30 pounds to my squat. I added 40 pounds to my squat. I've, I've never had a squat go up as high as it did as when I did that. I experienced this. If I want an exercise, yeah. single exercise to go through the roof, I just do it often. I modify the intensity. I'm not going to go well, hard all the time. you just get better at the exercise. That's it. It's just like practice. And every time we try to kind of bring this back to – like. Uh, if you're practicing for a sport and you're trying to get better at a skill, you do it very often. And if you can do it often without a lot of intensity, it helps the body to really recognize that movement and get more effective at the recruitment process to that. So now you're stronger in it and you're moving better in it and the technique gets better with it as well. So there's a lot of factors to that with frequency that's a benefit. The intensity is something that you do want to challenge yourself with. So, but it's, I would say that, you know, that's one of those cards you don't want to introduce like as, as much as the frequency. It's it's, it's like nitrous for your car. Yeah. So vol volume and your frequency is like learning how to, how to steer and how often you drive. So how often you steer and how often you drive is the volume and the intensity is throwing nitrous on it. Until you've practiced and you've driven lots of corners and you've been doing it day after day after day after day, do I then want to apply the nitrous into the into the equation? It just it doesn't make sense and it's uh, it's riskier. If you're still learning how to steer the car, you've only driven it a handful of times and you're also throwing nitrous on it, your likelihood of you spinning out and crashing is much higher. So get really really good at driving and practicing doing all that before you throw that in there because it's probably the most abused thing that I see in our space. And a lot of that is because we live in this Instagram bubble where, you know, even Olympic lifters, like you guys alluded to that, but you know, the one problem with even power lifters, Olympic lifters they don't ever uh, video their practice. Mm -mm. You don't see, you don't see some of our good friends who are some of the, the, the best in power lifting and Olympic lifting. They're not showing when they're moving 135 for 10 reps for, you know, five of their workouts. They're showing PR stuff. They're showing their the stuff when they're pushing because that's what's cool. That's what right. gets likes. That's what gets shared. But a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't realize that those guys aren't lifting like that yeah. very often at all. They're doing it for Instagram and then that's it. The rest of the time yeah. that you don't see, they're training the other way. They are training how to steer and drive and be frequent about it all the time yeah. before they throw the nitrous and on. And I think also there's a little bit of confusion because people think building the most muscle is going to make the squat the best. Some truth in that, but not a lot of not total truth, right? Just getting better at a squat will make your squat go up. I mean, I remember lifting with competitive lifters. They would tweak my form. I mean, within the same workout, they would tweak my form, how I needed to squeeze, where I needed to place my feet, where I needed to drive or whatever. And I would lift five to 10 pounds more in the same workout. I didn't mm -hmm. build muscle in that same workout. It was just my technique was different. So practicing the squat does that. It also teaches your central nervous system to fire more effectively. And then because you're lifting with better technique, and then because your central nervous system is firing better, the you do build more muscle. So that's it's that's what you should focus on. It's personally. like a golf swing also. It's like you uh, intensity is the power that you swing. You want to get the mechanics down and the reps in 
of getting really good at it before you throw any sort of intensity into it. Yeah, watch me golf. It's like, well, yeah, well, and, and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> and, and I'm saying that because I, I make the same mistake in that sport. It's like, and it's the same rules that apply to weight training. I should mm-hmm. know better. It's like, and I know every time I get up there, I, oh, because you you want to. It feels good mm-hmm. to throw some intensity in there and muscle it. Right, the same thing that people approach workouts. It feels good to get that that sweat, that but burn it'll to be go sore. Farther if you're smooth. And, that's right. Yeah, and your that's technique right. is sound. And so is squatting's the same way. Get the reps. In, increase the volume, continue to increase the frequency, practice, 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 hold off on the intensity, save that for like when you really hone in the movement. And then every once in a while, throw the little bit of intensity in there. Don't over abuse it. 